Hello everyone, my name is Darth Sloan and today we're going to be going over how tents work um, especially after the latest update with things like increased spook radius when firing a gun it is now roughly 270 meters and when you come across a small lake that has multiple drink zones on it no matter the species we're talking about if you fire a gun, you're spooking off all the animals on the lake. So there are some strategies that you can use with your tents to intentionally make animals invisible. See, when you, the mechanics of this game, much like Call of Duty, Halo, Destiny, some of these other shooters, it's very common that when you spawn in, when, you, when you've died, when you spawn back into the game, kind of places you away from danger you know on the other side of the map where the enemy is so you're not getting shot as soon as you spawn in so in the hunter call of the wild it's kind of the same concept you don't spawn in with an animal right in front of you so what happens is you spawn into your tent or outpost now we can't do anything about an outpost we can't move outposts but we can move our tents and if you spawn in and animals are within 200 meters of where you spawn in at. Tra travel to a tent. The animals 200 meters in a circle all the way around that tent are going to be invisible. So it's good to know that, especially if you're a new player. Because some of these outposts are right on the edge of the water. Or they're easily within 200 meters of the edge of the water. You walk out of the outpost and you look, you don't see any animals and you're like, okay, whatever doesn't drink here, whatever animal, lion, you know, deer, whatever. But what you need to do, put your marker down at the edge of the water. And if it's 160 meters, all you have to do is back up about 40 or 50 meters and then those animals will render in, you'll see them. But there are times, as I'm going to show in this video, that you can intentionally use this to your advantage so that you can hunt multiple spots. I have successfully hunted three different drink zones on one little tiny lake, moose hunting on New England, to where I would make two zones invisible by placing my tent just the right distance from them. The other zone on the other side of the lake would be visible. I would shoot that one. Go clockwise over to the left, spawn the other zone in, shoot that one. Go clockwise over, pick up my first moose. The other one would render in, shoot it. So I would get three moose off the same lake without spooking any of them because of how I place my tent. And I just want to show you guys today a little bit on how to do that. Let's hop into it. This zone I don't really hunt. It's female or just not not a good zone to hunt i've been spawning in here and seeing moose here but i also have moose here uh but my moose normally stand about right here and have a retrieval tent there but what i would like to do because i'm having to constantly choose between which which ones i'm going to shoot because if i shoot this one then these run off if i shoot this one these run off I'm thinking if I move my tent over here just a little bit and it'll be closer to this zone to make them invisible, then I can shoot them and then just back up just a little bit and make these render in and then shoot them. We're going to attempt this today and we're going to see if we can get this to happen. Let's go. All right, so we've spawned in. I'm probably going to see both zones. But that's what I'm wanting to stop. I want to stop seeing both zones with moose in them. I just want to see moose in one zone so the other zone's invisible because they do not spook when you shoot. Okay, that zone's there. Got us a nice four to shoot. But I would like to shoot both of those. I've got two males in that zone. I'd like to shoot both of them. Let's see if the other zone's over there. Okay, they have not shown up yet. I'm going to put my tent right here. 
if it'll let me. Yeah, it's a great spot right there. All right now they're going to spook. They're out of here. Nope, I ain't having none of that. Now, hopefully they will be invisible now. When we spawn in, that bunch will be invisible. I'll walk over here because I'm still getting closer. They're not going to render in because I'm getting closer to this. So my plan is that bunch will be invisible. When I spawn in, they won't, I won't be able to see them. But I will be able to see this bunch. So I will shoot them. And then what I'll do is I'll just back up a little bit. And they will render in. Then I'll get right back in this tripod and shoot them. Let's see if it works. Now. Uh-oh. You're seeing them pop up. So that worked. Now they're there. So they were invisible. They were invisible. So that's good. That worked. So I've got my tent in a good spot to make them invisible. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. These are invisible. Just like we wanted, but do we have anything? Yes, we do. Oh, we've got a big boy over there. Okay. I have my tent close enough to where this zone is invisible, but these are still there. So it's a very fine line because they're the way this is laid out. But I want to be able to shoot that one and also be able to shoot some from over in this zone. So they are invisible, and that's what I need. I need them to be invisible. So let's see. We're zeroed for 150. Let's put this guy down. There's just a good heart shot. Diamond potential, actually. Um, but we've got him shot. So if this works, and they're actually there, all we should have to do is just back up just a little bit and watch them render in, and then we can shoot one of them. So I'm just going to get down from my stand. I'll put me a marker right here so you can see. We're just 160 meters away. I'm just going to back straight up. And hopefully we'll watch them appear. There they are. Well, there's one of them. One of them has appeared. One of them has appeared. The other ones just may not be here yet. Uh, could just be a matter of timing. But you saw it work. Just hopped in here. It could just be that they're not there yet. Oh, no, they are there. Okay. We just hadn't backed up enough yet. So we've got that dude there, and as you can see, they did not spook. So now I can shoot that one. And I'm shooting from two different zones without having to worry about spooking them. So we put a shot in him. We want to be efficient with our grind. If I had just put my tent the way I had it, I was going to see both of them. I would have to choose which one I'm going to shoot. Because the first shot, they're just going to spook, right? And then I have a retrieval tent over here. Now, the good thing about it is, normally I have four in both of those zones. But we just stepped out of the tent. We just changed the time. So all of them's not there yet. Once we get rolling, we're hunting the whole map. We'll come back here later. We'll have... Four in each zone. We'll be able to kill two out of each zone. and Then you're looking at killing four every time you come here with a retrieval tent. Really maximizes the amount of moose that you can kill in one drink time. That's what we're about. How many can we kill in one drink time and get that great one to spawn? You know? Um, the more you can put down, the better. And so use tents... To make them invisible, that's a 263 big boy right there. Use your tents to make them invisible. They will not spook as you saw right there. While they're invisible, they're not gonna spook. 
my tent is set up just enough to make that zone invisible right there. But these always drink on this side of this drink zone. So just enough out of the way to where these were there, but these weren't. So you can do that with your tents. Use invisibility to your advantage, guys, especially with the new spook radius of 270. Make your grinds as efficient as they can be. If this helped you, please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comments what type of video you would like to see in the future. Um, I plan to start making more YouTube videos, guides, tips, tricks, anything like that. And I am working on my watch hours on my YouTube channel, trying to get my public watch hours up to get my channel monetized. So anytime you can watch a Darth Sloan video on YouTube, surely appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will catch you next time.